hey guys welcome back to my channel uh today's video is going to be a makeup haul uh is it all makeup makeup fragrance and some hair stuff so without further ado let's get started all right i'm gonna do a separate video uh featuring uh certain of these items like certain items i'm gonna be showing you uh i'll do like a playing with new makeup video uh because some of i purchased some new foundations and i kind of want to do wear tests and those videos kind of i think deserve their own you know like set and stuff since i did buy more than one new foundation but let's go ahead and start off with hair since i only got uh two items so you guys know I rave about the silk hair ties and I purchased the large silk hair ties because I loved the skinny ones so much. I did get a skinny, a pair of skinny ones during fall last year. It was a Nordstrom exclusive. It came in like this little ornament. Um, I filmed it for you guys and I posted pictures on my Instagram. Well, I fell in love with those uh, scrunchies. And so I went ahead and I wanted to try the large ones mainly because of this color right here so i came in a set of three i did purchase this particular set from nordstrom and i love these color this color right here i wish they would come out with a little silk mask that's this color you know the the face mask because i think it's going to be perfect for fall you know since we still have to wear masks uh, and then it came with this one that's kind of like a rose gold tie-dye between white and rose gold. I'm sorry about if the lighting is a little dark. It looks like there's a hurricane approaching outside. All right, and then just the rose gold color. But this, this is where it's at. Now, in comparison to the skinny ones, this does have less a uh, hold in the sense that I wouldn't wear these to work out. I like wearing these like to film or like, you know, if I want to have my hair up and I want to use this as kind of like a pop of color in my hair, I would like this. Or if I'm going to bed, I don't like anything tight you know, I usually pick up my hair so that it's not, you know, so I don't look like baby Simba in the morning, basically. Uh, I use something soft so that it doesn't give me a headache or anything like that. So I'll use these uh, bigger ones for that. Uh, now my skinny ones, I can use to work out. Uh, they do have more of a firm hold, yet they're gentle on the hair. So it won't rip out your hair. Um, you know, it doesn't get tangled. It doesn't crease or dent your hair. Uh, I have, my hair is very strange. So I have curly hair, but my hair is very moldable, which means that like if I lay a certain way on my pillow, I will wake up with that particular crease or like, if I straighten my hair and for example my hair will be behind my shoulder and it's like that for a while this front strand of my hair will be dented with that um, shape so I don't know what you call that because I'm not like a hair connoisseur uh, so I have very moldable hair and I tend to curl my hair now more often with my iron on the weekends because it just lasts longer and it's less maintenance and having it straight because of that fact so because i loved this color so much uh slip actually came out with a set a new set of six pure silk scrunchies and this set is exclusive i think to sephora because i haven't seen it anywhere else other than the slip website and the sephora website 
it's not a Nordstrom or any, anywhere else, um, this particular color. So I left this one in the plastic bag because I wanted to show you attention to detail. I'm so sorry if you can hear my robot vacuum in the back, okay? She's, she's making her rounds. She's, she's cleaning. Uh, anyways, so this comes packaged in a plastic bag, right? But look at this. There's a little tabby right here that you pull on for easy opening and then you just you don't have to use a knife you don't have to rip it you know you don't have to be, be a savage you other companies should learn from this kind of packaging okay love that and so here's the set of the six uh, silk scrunchies. They are the same color scheme as these. So you get two of each color. And I had to pick this up because the only... I had to get one of my little knives here because this does have a piece of tape. So I picked this up because... I needed more of these skinny scrunchies. The first set that I bought during the holidays, uh, I think I brought five or four. And I have about two in my purse, two in my car, uh, two in by my night dresser. I just, I needed more, okay? Okay, everybody knows that you can't have enough hair scrunchies and I truly, I don't know where they go. I don't know how we, how we lose them, but we do. So this is what they look like. And then let me slip one out. And so it has a little uh, slip tag. And these are much tighter. You can tell even, you know, this is a much softer grip. It is a wider grip, but you, this is much more intense. Uh, so I had to get this set because I fell in love with this color and it is what it is. Now, the only color in this set that I didn't already have uh, was obviously the orange and this rose, the rose gold tie dye one. Uh, because this uh, rose gold one I believe I have already uh, I have to compare it I don't have honestly I don't know where my rose gold uh, skinny scrunchie went from my last set which is why I needed to get this set but I have a feeling that this rose gold is a little bit darker than I think the ones I had were pink not rose gold I digress does it matter no the set is great. You can get it on at Sephora. I love these things. I highly recommend them. They're pricey for a reason, but honestly, I I'm just not going back to regular scrunchies ever again. All right, moving right along. The next item I purchased was a bronzer I had my eye on since it came out, and it's from Clarins. But I, you know, things have been busy and I just forgot about it. I didn't pick it up. And I actually happened to go into my local Bloomingdale's and I saw it and I had to have it. First of all, the packaging. Yes, I am a sucker for this packaging, this red. So this was part of their summer uh, collection for the U.S. So they had like a watermelon kind of theme, but apparently that collection is not coming to the US. It is slightly scented and it smells very faintly of rose. I love the tone, it's beautiful. So I'll be using this in my playing with new makeup video. 
Moving right along, the next item I purchased was the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips uh, Angel Alessandra lipstick. And this one I just got in the refill because I already have the case. So this is what the refills look like. And then it's like this nude brown orange. You guys know I gravitate towards those colors. Has a kiss embossed in it. Don't mind my nails, guys. I just did them. And I haven't properly cleaned them because I wanted to get this video up before it started to storm, thunder, and get very dangerous outside. All right, moving right along. Then I also purchased the Laneige, Laneige or Laneige? No, I think it's Laneige. A sleep, sleep mask. This one is in the gummy bear scent. I had to pick up another one of these because I actually ran out of the one that I had, which was the sweet candy. I had a mint chocolate chip and a sweet candy one, and I ran out of both. So, and those were in small, they came like in a set where it was uh, smaller ones. So I ended up purchasing a full size of the gummy bear one. I did smell this in store before I purchased it. And it smells like gummy bears. So that's what it looks like on the inside. If you guys have not tried this sleeping mask, I highly recommend. That's the thunder's really loud. It's starting. I highly recommend this. I this did wonders for me. It came highly recommended by my one of my best friends, Maria. And I have to say, out of all the sleeping, like all like the overnight lip balms that i've tried this one is the best it does come when you purchase the full size it comes with a little spoolie that comes in this little um case that looks like a purse you see my camera you guys see that it has a little flap so let's open that and then you have this little silicone spatula that you can pick up your product and put it on your lips without having to dig your finger in there which you guys know I hate doing so the only thing I wish was that this kind of had like a magnet so I feel like it's gonna be easy for me to lose this but I'll try to keep it together you know I don't make any promises. Moving right along, let's move on to fragrance. So I did purchase one of the Jo Malone jam inspired uh, fragrances. I purchased Elderflower. Now I purchased this through Macy's. Most of um, the online stores were sold out of this. So I ended up purchasing it through Macy's but so this is what i found with this particular collection a lot of sephora's actually carry this fragrance in store and online but you can't find it online i don't know why that is um supposedly they say that the app is updated real time it's not there's been a lot of occasions where I have wanted to pick up a product in store and they say that they're sold out of it on the app but then when you show up to the store they're fully stocked so I would call your local Sephora and find out if they have this fragrance I will put the notes up on the screen it's very unique it is a floral scent obviously elderflower but it smells really nice. It's very unique. It doesn't smell like any kind of jam. So this is the only one that didn't make sense to me in that whole line because this does it doesn't smell like jam to me. The other ones did. So 
it just smells delicious. It's a very light floral scent. But it has a slight warmness to it. Um, it's just, I love this. Apparently I was told at the Jo Malone counter that this fragrance isn't new. This actually used to be part of their like permanent collection and then they got rid of it for some reason. I hope they bring it back as a permanent fragrance because this is one of, it's become one of my favorite Jo Malone fragrances. So really, really love this. Uh, next two items I purchased were two of the new MAC powder uh, lipsticks. So MAC took out a couple new shades in their powder lipstick and I purchased two, uh, 932 Kinda Sorta and 931 Teddy 2.0. So I love the powder uh, kiss formula from Jo Malone. Uh, Velvet Teddy is a lipstick that has been around forever. It is one of their like cult favorites. And I was really excited to see it come to the powder formula uh, version. It's really nice. I don't actually have Velvet Teddy out as a lipstick. I already used it all up. So I don't have a comparison swatch to show you. This one is kind of, sort of, it gives me a beautiful, like, uh, mauve -y kind of vibe. It's like a purple mauve. Let me get an even swatch here. Let me not be such a savage. I think that color is perfect for fall. So I, I'm really excited. And I actually got these 20% uh, off uh, using a coupon through Ulta. Moving right along, let's move on to Chanel because the rest of the products that I have here are from Chanel. So the first item I wanna talk to is one you guys have already seen in my blush comparison video that I just did for Chanel. Uh, I purchased this new uh, blush called 604 Brun Rouge. This is their new formula. And the first time I tried it was on that video. So you guys have already seen this before. It's a beautiful terracotta blush. Now, these blushes are heavily fragranced. So if you're not into a heavy, you know, heavy fragrance in your makeup, you are not going to like this new formula. Now, I really like this color. I liked this tone, but I do not like, I like, I don't like this formula more than the original. It is less pigmented. You, you just have to build it up a lot more than the original uh, ones. And why, if it ain't, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Chanel loves to do that though. They love to do that. So I, I mean, I do like the blush. I will use it. I'm not gonna return it because I do love the tone and I don't have this particular color in my blush range. So I am going, I am going to keep it, but it's different guys. It's not the same quality as the original formula. I mean, if you like things you can really build, up you'll like this blush but i just i just prefer the original so and i know a lot of people feel the same way next item i purchased was a highlighting powder from chanel in number 20 warm gold so i needed a highlighter because i was running out i only have like two left and because I, it's a product I use every day and I don't purchase often, I always like to have enough backups because I have found myself in the position where I will forget. It'll slip my mind and then there I am doing my makeup. I run out of product and I don't have anything in my stash. So I went ahead and I picked up this color. The compact is slightly bigger than the blush com compact. Ooh. The little, bl the little blush brush fell out. So it comes with this um, white flat brush. 
that we're all familiar with and it has just the black plastic over it to protect it and this is the shade I picked up very subtle nothing groundbreaking it is a very like beautiful there almost there highlight I like a very seamless highlight I don't like anything too loud so I will be including this in my playing with new makeup video now the following product I picked up were the two foundations so the first one I picked up was the Chanel CC cream with broad spectrum SPF 50 and number 30 I've never tried either one of these foundations I picked up just want you guys to know and I picked them up uh, during this is how long ago I bought this and I haven't used it I haven't been able to film you know because we're all behind Labor Day weekend uh, I actually purchased this because Erin Nicole if you don't follow her on YouTube, highly recommend. She's super sweet, super nice. She's also from Miami, just like I am, but she's really nice. Uh, she did, she used to work for Chanel, and she did an entire video showing you like her favorite Chanel foundations. And this, the two that I picked up were part of the video. So I had, um, most of the ones she had mentioned because they have three that are like my holy grails that I love using. Uh, but I had never tried the CC cream and the way that she described it was that it gave you enough coverage but it wasn't too greasy but it had a lot of skincare benefits especially the SPF. So I went ahead and I picked up 30 which is usually my shade in Chanel foundations and we're gonna be doing a wear test with this foundation so get ready to see that and then the other uh, foundation that I purchased that I swore I would never purchase this foundation but she did a very good job of getting really up close and showing what these foundations really look like on the skin. I ended up purchasing the La Beige's Water Fresh Tint Foundation in medium. Now, the color of this foundation is very different than what you're used to. There is not a lot of colors in this foundation and it's because one color is because it's so light coverage it suits like a wide range of skin tones from what i've heard i've never tested this so it this is what it looks like and i'm not gonna lie in the bottle this looks really dark but that's it's not the way that it applies it doesn't apply this dark so this foundation is you know mostly water which is why I never wanted to purchase it why would I spend $65 on foundation that's mostly water it just in my mind it didn't make sense you know what I mean this is the top and when she featured it I really was you know had nothing to do because I usually, I've, I've seen this foundation, review, I've seen people review this foundation a thousand times. It comes with this brush, which is actually a really good brush, by the way, very good quality. And that CC matches the top, they have the same color, and that's cute, that's cute, okay. Not cute enough for $65 though. Cause that's mainly water so and I don't have perfect skin so I do need some coverage you know like for example do you guys see what's happening there I can't today would not be a day to be testing out this foundation but on most days my skin does behave well and when I saw her do the close-up of this foundation she Erin Nicole is 
like normally her makeup aesthetic is she usually uses like you know light to medium coverage uh foundations so i was very shocked that she liked this at all and when i saw her try it on and she did that close-up i saw you know that it provides just the right amount of coverage for days where you just don't want to wear makeup like if you're gonna go to the beach or maybe you're gonna run errands or maybe you're just not feeling well but you just or you don't have time and you just want to look a little bit put together just a little bit put together you know and you just want to apply this some lip balm and some mascara and leave it looks so nice on her skin and it does provide some coverage very minimal it will not cover up any acne scars don't get crazy but it does provide a good amount of coverage where people can't tell you're wearing makeup but it does even out the skin tone in a very nice way and the the finish was was what was what worried me the most because i have combination oily skin but this actually dries down no, why nobody talks about that i've watched so many reviews on this but nobody tells you that this dries down and i think it's because nobody actually waits for it to dry down they just immediately go in with a you know very light setting powder but this does dry down um and it doesn't and it doesn't look as luminous as when you first apply it so it's i'm not gonna look like a grease ball basically but who knows again i'm gonna be doing a wear test video with this foundation and i'll let you know what i think about it but i hope i eat my words because this was a lot of money that i don't want to you know throw away because i'm not going to return it i'm just i'm not but leave me your comments down below if you have combination oily skin and you've tried this and your skin is not like perfect you know because i have large pores so this could either change my life or be the worst thing i've ever tried I digress uh and then the last final the last two uh products i purchased from chanel was a lip gloss i didn't have which is called 712 melted honey by the way you guys that fragrance it smells so good my skin doesn't actually change the smell of the perfume which is surprising because the ph of my skin changes everything it actually continues to smell the exact same way after it dries down so nice so this one's called melted honey and it's a very clear gold color just gonna swatch it for you guys here it's really pretty you can wear it by yourself by itself or like as a topper my favorite gloss formula is the chanel lip gloss this is my number one lip gloss right here for so many reasons <laughs> the dome of this is absolutely amazing the lasting power and formula of this lip gloss is really good but that wand goes all the way to the bottom so you get every single drop of product love this uh, and the last product I purchased was a Rouge Coco Flash Color in 56 Moment. Again, another color that I did not own. And I didn't own it because it sold out so quickly and it took them forever to restock. So finally, it came back in stock. And this is Moment. I know it looks really scary in the bullet, like really dark. But I'm going to swatch this. These Coco Flash Colors are pretty light. And let me just build it up a little bit. That's as dark as it's gonna get. So for fall, I like that, you know, warm chocolatey brown, light chocolatey brown color. 
so that completes this makeup i would say mainly makeup because there's only one fragrance and hair ties so my little makeup haul here i will be doing a follow-up video playing with most of these things but there will be a separate dedicated video to this foundation because i can't use them both because they are two completely different textures and they both do two very completely different things this has like a lot more coverage than this and so they're gonna need their own separate video but i will be playing with most of these things and i hope to see you in my next one that completes this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking it out through the storm with me because it's ugly outside i'm just gonna tell you right now it's really nasty out there and i know with the background noise you guys put up with a lot and i want you to know i appreciate it if you guys just clicked on this video thank you so much welcome to my channel i hope you like me enough to subscribe or like this video but if you wanted to follow me on other socials uh, my instagram is isabel112506 and that's the only social i'm on because I'm not that social so I'm not on TikTok I don't really use snapchat you know even though I have it never on there and I have Facebook never on there I may delete that account I should become more social but I just not right now if anything changes you guys will be the first to know thank you so much for watching guys and see you next time bye